Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back, Nat 20. Uh, in our last episode, our adventures just found in, got enough diamonds to revive the royal prince. And he just awakened from his death. Uh, so, all of you see the a kid prince just uh, start to... He's like heaving a lot and he just sits up immediately as soon as the spell ends and he's, he looks really confused and he just can't say anything at the moment because he's like flabbergasted. Um, I instantly run over, uh, to the side and I put my hand on his shoulder. I'm like, hey, 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 are, are you okay? What happened? What, like, where am I? What happened? What, 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 what? what? <laughs> Yeah, we all got problems, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I walk up to the prince and I'm like, you just had a really, really long nap. I want to deceive him. Okay, uh, <laughs> roll these up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh 20. my god. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he 100% believes you, so it, it, it was all a dream. Okay, all of it, yes. So, where, where, where am I right now? Just fine. You're with Isadora. Um, Who's Isadora? <laughs> as, uh, like, I'm looking at this kid, I, like, turn around and face fair, and then, like, out of, um, sight of the kid, I look at him, like, what, uh, like, what are you, <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> like, I don't know if we should be lying to this guy. He's a kid. <laughs> Maybe better that he doesn't. Isadora is a friend of Kaka Carl. It was getting pretty late, and you wouldn't wake up. You were pretty, pretty napping, so we just thought we'd drop you off here, let you rest here, so we're comfortable. Probably something. He's already in this. Oh, that one. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, Unfortunately. He doesn't really believe what you're saying, but like, he does believe that he just woke up from a long sleep. Okay, she's not Cooker Carl's friend. <laughs> Got me. Uh, and Cooker Carl is like, Who do, oh my god, thank god you're alive. Well, <laughs> or, shit, no, actually, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not Cooker okay, Carl. I, I am not, I am, uh, cancelling that. That is not what he says because he's not that stupid. It's too late, it's too late. No, Carl's I'm redconning that. Okay. <laughs> Because I wasn't thinking. It's his game, he can do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> well, he killed a kid, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Cut Carl will uh, come back into the room and be like, Hey, buddy. You all right there? Cochran? And he'll kind of just put his arm around Cochran. And Cochran will be like, Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I feel fine. I just had, I had a bad dream. Or a really weird dream, but that's all. What'd you dream about? Uh, like, there was, like, all these people, and I saw, like, old family members who passed away a, while, a long time ago, and it was really scary, and, like, just lots of weird stuff happened. It freaked me out. <laughs> well, good, it was just a, a crazy <laughs> dream. <laughs> Yeah, I, I suppose so, yeah. It, yeah. Alright, let's go get you married. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor party! <laughs> Just <laughs> it's alright, child. You're fine now. Isadora is the caretaker here. Okay, awesome. It's nice to meet you, Isadora. Thanks for letting me sleep here or whatever happened. <laughs> <laughs> so innocent. <laughs> but we have a long road ahead of us, so we should continue. And Carl will give you a thumbs up for like <laughs> if you see him again. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Carl will say, "Who Uh, we should we should probably get the prince to the king here. Is everyone good with heading out? Yeah, is it about to go into day right now? Um, yeah. Can I look out the window to see if there's anyone? If that guy's still watching, or if there's any? Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't. We just all walk, walks walks out with the prince like oh. <laughs> um so do I just roll for perception? Yeah. Alright. Going back to the red die. <laughs> Come on, baby. That is that's a fifteen. Uh you see that the T thing was banished. Okay. I And you don't see anyone else like lurking outside. 
I turn around and inform the group and I'm like, yeah, that tiefling with the uh, interesting facial hair choice uh, <laughs> is gone. Um, it looks clear besides that, but perhaps we should make formation. Perhaps we should wait till late, so Both well, very fine ideas. That call will be like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. I'm going <laughs> for a walk. Maybe we should just put the kid on top of Brian and give him a long coat. <laughs> 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 I'll ask Isidore if she has any, uh, like, cloaks, extra cloaks that we can give the drinks. Uh, she does, and she'll bring one out. It's just like a regular gray cloak. Okay. Does it have a hood? Yeah, it does. Nice sense of fashion. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna climb to the roof, and I'm gonna chill there. I'm gonna, uh, puff on my bubble pipe and draw a new painting. Cause, uh, I'm lacking a painting. <laughs> Do I see this? And he walks off onto the... Oh, <laughs> leave the, me alone! <laughs> you, you see just on, leave on. me alone! <laughs> and you kind of hear the, his paws hitting the roof as he climbs up. Uh, to I'm going to go up and <laughs> go talk to Blaze. Okay. Okay. Someone's on the roof. Oh, wow! <laughs> Unexpected company! Not hey. welcome! <laughs> uh, hey there, Blaze. Um, I'm sorry what happened to your painting earlier. Uh, um, I to paint myself and I respect the art. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, I just paint all over myself. <laughs> I, feel like, I just imagine you like, painting nude renditions of yourself. <laughs> like, look in the mood. Let me, re- let me rephrase. <laughs> um, I too also paint people and things. <laughs> um, so I have a respect for the art but um we can't just risk having that painting get out of our hands um we kind of need to leave this on the down low and um we told it could be on the up high <laughs> and um yeah so i'm really sorry what happened about that um that was kind of out of my control but that's cool yeah we cool sure i'm trying to chill out though <laughs> and you're kind of throwing off my chill vibe i bid you adieu then and I just leave. I'm doing my painting, but I do kind of keep watch. Okay, while I'm up there, might as well. Uh, you see someone come to the door and knock. And I knock back. <laughs> <laughs> the answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Isadora will kind of go, go to the door and kind of <laughs> try to push you aside. I'll hide like <laughs> but behind the door, like whichever way the door opens, I'll hide behind it. I stand behind her. I'm going to remain... Hopefully perfect. somewhat intimidated was on the other side. To um, prevent him from doing anything wrong. I'm going to remain perched on the roof. Okay. Pounds. I'm going to like look around a corner from afar and just kind of <laughs> keep an eye, but not <laughs> all <laughs> see. I see like that hallway in like the Ferris Bueller movie and then your head just beats up in the bathroom. You're still here? What's <laughs> 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 over? Go home. <laughs> Uh, and then Isdor will open the door and answer and be like, Oh, hey, uh, Ronit. What's up? And this guy who's a, uh, half elf with, like, a with a kind of patchy beard and, like, really thick eyebrows that almost touch, says, Hey, Isdor, uh, I just came to tell you there's a tabaxi on your roof smoking a pipe. <laughs> I just want to make sure you knew that. <laughs> so I also didn't recognize him. So, just thought I'd let you know. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Why can't a guy just smoke his roll, pipe? Roll perceptive to see if you hear. Weird things happen at this door. That point. Yeah, you hear all that. <laughs> yeah, and I call down. I say, I'm just having a pipe. What's the matter with you people? <laughs> and then Isadora will answer... Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. It's everything's all good here. Thanks. And uh, Ron, I will be like, okay, just want to make sure everything is cool. And see you later. And he'll just leave. Peace out, you nosy bastard. He's <laughs> <laughs> he like sitting the on the roof of the in house. the middle of the day. <laughs> Throws his pipe. Down. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna tra- attract a lot of weird attention. Ah, nasty kids. <laughs> Uh, was there anything specific you wanted to do while you're waiting for it to be my turn? Not for any paintings. That's for sure. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to... I'm going to rest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to 
circle around, look out, keep an eye out the windows, uh, then write in my journal, and then, like, meditate. Okay. Take that short. I'm going to go rest wherever whatever. the prince was laying when he was dead. Okay. <laughs> Just rest right. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you can get a long rest in, right? Yeah, you could probably do a long rest. I'll have a long sure. rest. I only need four hour meditation. So, like, I'll keep an eye on the windows and stuff, yeah. and maybe write in my journal, and then take, like, my four hours of meditating. I mean, I only need to meditate too, so we can switch off and everything. Yeah, so I guess we'll I'm do that. Resting, so. I'm just going to still move. I have, well, I mean, I have full health. I mean, if you're like so painting or like smoking and stuff, that still counts as resting. Yeah. That's short rest stuff. I yeah. Oh, I, I don't need regaining any points. Uh, yeah, so Alrindal and Lazarus, you guys are partially like looking out windows to skip and wash and stuff. Yeah. Uh, you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. You don't, the tea flame never returns, and you don't see anyone else, like, lurking. Oh, okay. And you guys have had a full rest, and it's now nighttime. Uh, I thought the car will go hoot hoot, and kind of, and each of you will go hoot hoot, and kind of, uh, shrug your shoulders to wake up hoot hoot, hoot hoot. <laughs> I thought you said for a second each of us go hoot hoot yeah, like back in response. It's like hoot hoot and all over your head. So I thought we were all gonna like put our heads and say hoot hoot. And he'll say hoot hoot. It's time. I think it's about time we could be. I stay close to the prince during this whole endeavor. Um, I'll try and protect him again. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I take a peek out the window to see if I notice anyone before I walk out and go to the wagon. And I assume I don't, or? Yeah, you don't see anyone. Okay. Oh, I, I walk out and I prep the wagon for takeoff. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's not really much you have to prep, just take like off. untying the horses or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so Isadora, Isadora will bid you guys farewell and say if she'll keep this a secret. Um, I thank her for all of her, uh, Hard work and and then and thank her for bringing the kid back and uh, yeah, for letting her. us for letting us stay there for a bit. Yeah, I'm thank you for your shoulder as I leave. He says, it's "The least I could do for our royal or future royal." And she like wave goodbye as you guys leave. Okay. Yeah, I kind of escort the prince to kind of like the center of the wagon. Okay, the back a little bit. I stay right beside him. I yell up to the group. You still there, Blaze? Yeah! <laughs> Did my painting come out okay? Uh, uh, it rolled for something. What were you trying to paint? Just the... I, I made it a quick wash. Just like a... I'm just painting myself on the roof smoking my double oh, okay. pipe. You reflect, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke! I'm, I can stop! Alright. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, it came out shitty, so... <laughs> What's your performance on fire? Uh, performance is plus three, so it's a six. Yeah, it's not the best drawing you've done. Well, the best painting I ever made just got set on fire, so. <laughs> Do you have proficiency in art supplies? Yeah. <laughs> do you actually? Yeah, that's why I have a finished I do feel bad about the painting. <laughs> Couldn't get much rest, you know, eternal sadness, uh, <laughs> and I jumped down from the roof. But let's go get this kid married off. Uh, Cut Carl will say, uh, he won't be married off soon, uh, because he's not of age yet, but. That'll be in a few years. They're pretty much just making sure they get to know each other and like each other. And then after that happens, eventually there will be a royal marriage. What happens if they don't like each other? That's unfortunate. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't really... uh, DeBlaze doesn't really agree with uh, anything that restricts freedom. So he's not a big fan of this move, but... I just kind of nod my head and say, well, if that's the way the law goes... Uh, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kaka Carl will, like, take the reins of the horses to lead the park where it needs to go. Okay. Uh, as you're traveling through the city, uh, it'll be about a 25 minute ride to the, to the, uh, castle. And along the way, you pass by a few a few drunkards or a couple of prostitutes on the road. You don't run any over this time. So that's a good thing. Yeah, we never went back to those guys. <laughs> Oops, we didn't have a chance to. Man. And eventually, you make your way to the gates to the actual castle section, and there are two guards 
standing on each side. With the gate closed. It's exciting. So, and Bill I called, Halt! Who goes there? I will walk off the cart, uh, and I will approach them. I will say, uh, <laughs> shouldn't you let Cooker Carl go? I uh, think so. He was yeah, yeah. generally the royal ambassador, so, yeah. or, well. Cooker Carl oh, was, like, just about to get off this horse, and, uh, he's <laughs> 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 like, you're taking the control of this yeah. one, buddy. <laughs> okay, I've got um, this. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I say, uh, good night. Uh, offices. That's <laughs> 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 <Just sleep. laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> well, like the nighttime. So like, yeah, good I, evening. What's not, but it's not the evening. Like, what time of the? I thought it was like twelve or so. Yeah, it'd be like around twelve or so. Yeah, so it's not really evening. So it's like hey. night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just goes back to the wagon. You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna stand the wagon. <laughs> you, you say good night, and then, like, then uh, you, you, you then, know, you or, then like a car all like, gets off his horse and is <laughs> kind of shocking to himself. Oh, God damn it! And everything. That was really well. And good on ya. <laughs> kind of just walks up and says, "Oh hey, Eli. Uh, we're." We've got orders from the King of the Branches. I'm pretty sure you know what's happening. And then, uh, the guard is, will be like, Oh, you're Kaku Carl, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, why don't I just check the cart, make sure there's no, nothing wrong or anything? No silly business, funny business. And the girl will say, Yeah, sure, go ahead. And then the guard will just check the cart, make sure there's nothing wrong. He sees the prince, he's like, Hey, Prince Cochran, how's it going? How's your traveling been? And Prince Cochran will be like, Oh, it's pretty good. I don't actually remember a lot because I was asleep for a long time, apparently. Had some weird dreams during that, but, you know, that happens, I guess. Big melt on this kid. I just made sure he had a nice long rest on his journey. Uh, I think I heard the, like, Oh, yes, of course, of course. He seems totally by himself. James Ogden, the, there's no... So he was just in the park that I see, so go on in, and then he signals his guard friend to open the gate, and he opens it, and you guys make the way in. Uh, and then that first guard will actually escort you to the king. Go through a few different rooms in the castle, a few hallways, it's really intricate, and you realize that it is dwarven made, and this castle has been here since almost the first settlers, uh, who came to Caltania. And it's just a really beautiful palace. And eventually you get to the throne room where the king is sitting in his pajamas. So you just woke up. Call the pajamas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> they are... I have a little... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're like red velvet pajamas and have like a lot of fluff on them and are really re- regal looking. Fit for a king. Yeah, exactly. This whole time I'm also like very nice to the prince. I okay. still don't trust everything. Um, I'm just trying to like peek up from behind. I uh, could draw and be like, here's your kid! You brought him! The king will say, thank you, thank you. Uh, my name is King Allen. Uh, I'm glad everything went well, uh, and he kind of just tells the guard to go back to his post. Um, yeah, it went peachy. As he says that he's uh, King yeah. Allen, uh, I get on my one knee and I put my head down. Oh, no, 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 no need, no need. We don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be respectful. Of course. Uh, what are your names? It's <laughs> <laughs> been a ceaseless repetition of introductions, but uh, my name is Blaze. <laughs> Why don't we go around in a circle and introduce ourselves? And say, <laughs> my favorite is Black. <laughs> no, my name's Blaze. Um, this right here, and I point to I don't know, is Aylor Uh This. Is, uh, Rain, this is Lazarus, and this is Baron, this is Prince Cochran, this is Kicker Carl, and that gent leaving there is Eli, and, uh, yeah, there you go. 
Thank you. I I knew who that guard was, and she <laughs> took a Carl as and the princess, of course. But I, thank you. I I'm glad you introduced everyone. Uh, how was your travel? Yeah. Did, were there any problems during the travel? Not really. None of those. Quite a smooth ride. There was a weird dude we ran into named Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was just a weird interaction. It's not like anything bad happened. Great, 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 great. You didn't happen to have 550 gold pieces, though. <laughs> we used up a lot of money. <laughs> and he'll say, Chris Cochran, come here. Come here. And he'll, like, give him, he'll take some, like, a little, no, he'll take a book out from his pocket in one of his robes and just give it to him and say, this is for you. Uh, your father told me you really enjoyed reading and history, so. <laughs> I thought for some reason, like, my father, your father told me you really enjoyed crepes, and it's like another, <laughs> another seven ways to make crepes. <laughs> seven more ways. <laughs> grows up to be a chef. <laughs> I thought the king was going to be like, Cochran, come here, and then just stab him in the chest. <laughs> oh, my! Like, don't give him ideas. I would shit. Uh... <laughs> And Cocker will be like, oh, thank you, huh? And he, like, looks at the book, and he's like, I'm super excited to read this, this looks awesome. And he, like, flips through the first page, two pages, and just looks at him, and it's like, thank you so much, I'm excited to read this. Blaze slings forward, says, hmm, what you got there? <laughs> Is that, uh, hey, nice little boy, what you got there? <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> Is that a fun little history book? You know, you know, little Blaze loves history books. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a history of Silsby from like, when, it's, uh, it's really old actually, like, this is the oldest book I've ever seen and read. I start like, salivating, and it's like, <laughs> you, you wouldn't let me read it, would you, maybe? Like, just a little quick, quick peek, please? Uh, the King of Silsby will, uh, will say, unfortunately this is a, a gift to the prince. And unfortunately, I can't, I can't allow for something this valuable to go to just anyone. Unfortunately. But you will get a reward from both me and the king of the branches. Is it the same book? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good reward if you ask me. Unfortunately, this is the only book of its kind. Uh, I require no reward. I do. <laughs> this man does not speak for me. <laughs> Seriously, if you got like a spare copy laying around, like I wouldn't say no. <laughs> uh, he'll motion to uh, one of the guards that's just at the door, and well, he motions to both of them. One sends off running in one direction to go grab something, and the other comes back and just takes a chest that he had uh, sitting beside him and brings it to you guys. This it will be your reward from me for bringing the prince here unharmed and in perfect condition. <laughs> he is in perfect condition. Uh, I guess I will walk up and I'll open the chest to see what's inside. Okay, and he'll also uh, kind of tell Fogger, uh, why don't you go, I'll have my one of my assistants show you to your room and then you can get uh, all comfortable and settled. And then an assistant will come out and just lead the kid to you as room. I go up with Bye, you guys! Thanks for bringing me here. Thank you so much. Thanks. I See you later. Back. Keep up with your reading. <laughs> <laughs> and you do notice that he is super excited about this book. Like, while he's walking, he's kind of reading it a little bit. And you notice that Blaze is super disappointed about <laughs> that book. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, inside the chest is, uh, a bag of holding and 200 gold pieces. Uh, and then the other guard comes back and you see that he has a book in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that? Is that a- the king will say, well, since you were really excited about that book, I bought another book for you. Let me see it. <laughs> Eight ways to make a crepe. Extended edition. I knew that was coming. I was waiting for it. Uh, it's that's a rare edition. <laughs> it's a book just on the uh, history of 
the dwarven mines that are to the north. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take that book. Hands okay. mm-hmm. Thank you all for everything you've done here. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, take good care of little Cochrane. Oh, I will. I normally hate children, but he kind of grew on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> not that you hate children, but that he grew on you. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll bid you adieu. And he'll kind of just give you a, like, like Queen Slave, where it's like, <laughs> Ta-ta. how big is this chest? Yeah. Uh, this chest is, it's not all that big. It's about like a foot and a half by a foot tall. Okay. And, I'll like, close it, pick it up, and carry it with us. Okay. Um, as we're walking off, uh, I kind of say to the group, I say, I don't, I don't really agree with us lot straight up lying to the king about what happened. I don't really agree about telling the truth. You want to keep your head on your shoulders? Sometimes it's better I, just to make a white lie. No, I know, but... <clears throat> I, Dr. Carl will uh, say, I think it is for the best, because we don't want... And to worry too much about the prince, and we don't want the prince to worry about what happened. I mean, fair enough. We don't want us to have to face what our mistakes. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. think about it this way: if we, if he knew the king was dead, he'd probably be had us all, including Kaka Carl, a very innocent man. <laughs> 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 Me myself, I just care about this goal here. You know? Innocent doesn't didn't partake in battle. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a character. <laughs> um, well, we are in a bit of a pickle. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to stick around. I mean, we're done, so who gets the bag of holding? I don't really care much for it. I could use one on my travels, but uh, I don't want to be that guy. Should we divide it up here? Should I- we go to a tavern first, maybe? Divide 200 gold in the middle of a tavern. That seems <laughs> logical. Why don't we do it in the safety of this giant castle surrounded by guards? We just left to get up at least off. You're, you're still them. like walking out, out of the. Yeah. yeah. Um, I say we divvy up the money here. <laughs> it's safe here. Alright, I put down the chest and I put it up. Okay. Personally, I don't really need any money. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. remember, Aaron was saying he doesn't want a reward, so. Uh, normally, I wouldn't take. A reward, but I do have no gold, and I do require gold to <laughs> sleep and eat. So I'll take my portion just for the necessity. <laughs> so I'm talking forty gold each. That will do. Donkey. All right. I divide it up into <laughs> forty sections and start passing it around. Okay. Forty sections of forty. Oh yeah. That's what now, if I know math, <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which isn't real. <laughs> So we all got 40 gold? Yeah, you all yeah. got 40 gold. Okay. Uh, and one of you has the big holding. Yeah, I, like I said, I would like that. I would give up my 40 gold for it. It's worth a lot more than 40 gold. I know, but I mean, I'm just saying, I would like the bag of holding. Um, I think we <laughs> owe it books. to Blaze, since we did burn up his his painting and his sketchbook, so I think we should allow him to have it. You know, I'd I grab the bag kind of holding and I'd hand it over to Blaze. All right. Okay. Cool, thanks guys. <laughs> I really made up for that. That sounded insincere. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> thanks guys, I really... This was exactly like my painting. <laughs> and then afterwards, I just pick up the chest and throw it to the side. You know? <laughs> 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 it's a garden. I've never played Minecraft. You're supposed to keep the chest. This is a Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> this is me wanting to throw a chest. <laughs> Check a car will just kind of look at that and be like, which doesn't work on like a podcast show, so I'll describe what he did. So he kind of, he's kind of squints at you, uh, quizzically wondering why you just threw the chest in a random place, and then he just sees one of the other guards up front and just kind of gets his entry and kind of just make sure he knows about the chest. Oh, <laughs> no! Don't worry! And I, uh, I'm gonna walk over, I'll pick it up. I got it! <laughs> <laughs> and I bring it back. And I put it in my bag of holding. <laughs> uh, I don't think it'll fit. It into the bag of holding. Oh. Uh, it would have been that candy to have a chest around. 
Have you ever played Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good to have a chest to run. I mean, all it takes is eight blocks of wood, but okay. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab eight blocks of wood back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one, one of the guard soldiers come and take the chest from you, and just... <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> well, if, if you're okay, I'll just take it away and deal with this chest. Okay. <laughs> Unless you want to keep it for something. Like oh, I guess you can <laughs> have it. You're a tough chest. Huh? <laughs> I guess you can have it here. <laughs> Thanks, I'll just turn back to where the king keeps all his chests. He's <laughs> 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 just got a, a <laughs> room full of chests. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> so you think you're a tough chest? <laughs> I'll just do that. <laughs> and like as as you're walking through the hallway out of the castle, you do notice like a sign, like a sign, like telling where each room is. And one of the so- signs says chest room. <laughs> <laughs> And then the one point to where you were coming from just says throne room and stuff like that. Uh, so you're making your way out of the castle? I make my leaf to the wagon, now. Yeah. How about a drink to celebrate a job well done? <laughs> That's a fine idea. I'm down for that. I'm not really a big drinker. <laughs> uh, you're coming, please. Okay. <laughs> it's well, celebrating. Well, we successfully completed this as. While you guys are walking, Carl will also go. Do you? Uh, would you like me to escort you back to Abrantes whenever you want to leave, or should I just? I or kinda, do you just prefer, prefer to go by yourself. I kind of didn't want to go there. <laughs> well, <laughs> you were. The king does have a reward for you. Oh, he does. Yeah, we would appreciate that. Very kind. Uh, I do not know what that the reward is. Why don't you just fly us there? Because I'm only one. Or Kothra. Well, I can carry f- five people. Uh, okay. Uh, well, it'd be nice to have you know, such hands if we encounter difficulty on the road. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll escort you whenever you need to go then. Well, I'm good to go now, but apparently these guys want to hit up the old tavern, but, uh, a Blaze genuinely is not interested in the tavern. Like, I kind of want to walk around. You can sit in the corner and drop any things. You know, walk around and look at the stuff. Like, we'll just meet at the front gates at dawn, then. I will, uh, I'll come down to the tavern as well. <laughs> and Trekkor will tell you that he does have, uh, three rooms booked in one of the inns, uh, in, in Silsby, called the Out End Inn. <laughs> oh, but... And he tells you that it is on the southeast side of the city. So, uh, just whenever you want to go to bed, just go to the inn and tell them, uh, ask them for a key to one of the rooms for that fucked Carl. Don't worry about it. I plan on sleeping in pig trap. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really glad I'm not going to the tavern now. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later then. That was a cool no, you should, <laughs> Blaze, you should definitely come <laughs> join us. Why? At least for uh, a couple of Just things. come on. Hang out. We're um, celebrating. I'm, I'm not going to drink either, but I'll come and hang out with everyone. Why does it sound like we're planning a house party? <laughs> <laughs> we got a bag of holding. That's something we're celebrating, right? I was going to celebrate with a good book. <laughs> you know, this really important one I just got that I'm really interested in. Alright, you can go to the tavern, get your room, and read your book. <laughs> Alright, alright, <laughs> I'll go to the tavern. I hear there's chests in the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I didn't say that. But no, fine, I'll, I'll go to the tavern for a little bit then, fine. And Kaka Carl so, well, I'll bid you adieu, because I'll be going to the inn. Well, no, hold on. <laughs> I have to go, you have to go. It's not how this works. Oh, you've convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carl likes to drink. <laughs> he just likes He's to hang out with him. Right Carl <laughs> seems like a wine type of guy. He probably doesn't get a lot much of a social life. <laughs> but he does mention... Also, who who died... Don't have any money. <laughs> oh, no. So he's that kind of guy. <laughs> Being that we just spent all, all my money and your money too on diamonds. Shouldn't you have gotten some of the reward? Nope. 
the king of the branches is paying me for this. Oh. Can you can you just plot out in advance on his next page? <laughs> 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 just go to the king, mix him up again. <laughs> Alright, but, but it's on me, I guess. <laughs> he does say, luckily, and then he, like, pulls out something from Pouch, and it's a flask with Go Eagles Go on it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, an Eagles fan. Oh, great team. <laughs> Very much so. I'm more of a Panthers fan myself, but yeah. Oh. Panthers haven't been good for years. Oh, fuck you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> I started making my way to the end. Are we, Actually, are I hop on the wagon and yeah, start taking it away. Just wagon. start walking. Right. Yeah, so you guys get to a tavern called the uh, the Full Stein Tavern. Full Stein. Oh, Stein for Rain. <laughs> <laughs> you were waiting to say that, weren't you? <laughs> no. And as you walk in, you notice that the bar is just bustling, like, there's a ton of people in, so many people are drinking, there's musicians playing, there's people playing poker or other card games and stuff like that. Oh, I'd probably look a little weird with my mask on it, that's what uh, it's all it, It's not... I hope so. Uh, you would think it's not too weird, because there's people of all kinds, and okay. all kinds of um, weird you people. Yeah, I guess trying to see. You yeah. actually see someone with the same mask. <laughs> <laughs> So that is where we'll leave off for this episode, and we'll go from here next time on Nat 20.